Hi guys, welcome back and hey to everyone that is new as well. I hope that you are all keeping safe in these difficult times. Okay, so what we're going to do this week is we're going to go into the inner workings of your person's little mind and find out what it is that they want you to know or potentially not know about what's going on with them and their feelings and their emotions, etc, etc. What is it that they want you to know? So as always, we've got two decks to pick from. Uh, we have the Santa Muerte Tarot which is this one, and the other one is, 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 is the Guardian Tarot. Now, this one hasn't got eyes, so if you get easily freaked out, the cards haven't got eyes, but I absolutely love this deck, and the Santa Muerte deck um, is kind of skeletal. So we've got quite a different energy going on with both decks today. So deck number one, deck number two, pick the deck you're most drawn to, and as you get drawn to that deck, I want you to just think about your person, feel your person's thought, that your, your emotions for your person, uh, feel them in your heart-based energy. And as you feel that in your heart, can you feel as if it's being pushed to the deck that you are most drawn to? And if you can't see or feel it being pushed, just visualise a pinky collar going to the deck that you are most drawn to. Number one, number two. Okay, so as always, uh, for both decks, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances. So going into all your energy, going into all your people's energy and pulling out that strong energy that lies between you all. Okay, deck number one. Let's do this. Okay. Right, let's get into deck number one's energy. Think about your person for me. Can we get into the person's thoughts, feelings? energy, emotions and thought processes. So I've got some Fleetwood Mac songs kind of coming through my right ear. It's a bit of a Fleetwood Mac channel going on for you guys. Whenever I hear songs in my right ear, um, this is whenever I hear messages in my right ear, this is High Dimensional Guides. In my left ear, it is the close guides that you guys have. Um, so the songs that we're getting from Fleetwood Mac, I'm getting Rihanna uh, first and foremost, but following that, we've got Dreams and tell me lies. So you've kind of got this mix up of energy between you all. Reason why there's such a diverse range of songs is again because of the mutual energy. So whichever song resonates most with your energy will be the song that is specifically meant for you guys watching. And you're having a Fleetwood Mac day. I love a bit of Fleetwood Mac. I'm a big Stevie Nicks girl. Okay, can you tell me what is their person not telling them? What is their person what is it? What do they want you to know? What do they want to want you to know? What do they want you to know? I couldn't remember. What does your person want you to know? Okay, so we're going to get nine cards. What does your person, what does the mutual energy of everyone want them to know? I put this big jumper on and then I've got the heating on really high because it's freezing in England at the moment. I'm just sitting there and I'm like, oh God, I'm really hot. Five, not bad cards, six, seven. My dad is saying we need nine, so let's just get two more. Eight, nine, fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, what is your person not telling you? What is it that they would want you to know that they aren't currently telling you? Your person has very strong emotions for you. Now, they have covered their emotions. They have buried them deep in the depths of their soul. But their emotions are very, very strong for you. Now, regardless of where your situation is, whether it's come to a close, whether it's just been a load of crap and you're not quite sure whether you're making head nor tail of it there are very strong emotions underneath it now with that being said with this kind of death card spirit uh, spirit are saying that your person has been a little bit on self-preserve so if you've been trying to communicate with them and they've been blocking you out or making you feel a bit rubbish or saying flippant statements to you, they are just trying to preserve their vulnerability towards the situation with you guys. They know because they have got these really strong emotions for you, they know that if they give in to these emotions and they really express their emotions and feel those emotions, that they are going to be starting to feel a little bit weak. OK, that's just how they work. That's just their mentality on it. When they start to open up to people, they get that sense of vulnerability and your people as a whole don't like to be vulnerable. Now, a lot of that will come back from when they were younger, potentially people leaving the family, past issues, trauma, all that kind of stuff where they felt that they couldn't be in a vulnerable position. 
So when it comes to their emotions for you, because they have these really strong feelings and they have these really strong emotions, they kind of bury them really deep in a case of self-preserving so that they um, don't feel that vulnerability around you. OK, um, again, the reason for that is because you are someone that is really bonded and connected energetically with them as well. They feel this intense love. They feel this intense, intense chemistry and they feel this intense passion between you guys. Um, and no one in the whole planet has ever made them feel the way that you make them feel. And again, that makes them feel a little bit uncertain. Is it a bit risky? Am I going to get hurt? What's going to happen? So wherever you are at the moment, know that the reason why you are in this current position is because your person has kind of been preserving their energy and not wanting to um, get affected or upset or hurt. Now that's not to say they don't love you. Um, I just got a song uh, called by Marillion. <laughs> Um, I just got a song, Marillion, I got Lavender. Um, so there is that very, very strong love that the two of you guys share, okay? And in that song, there is lyrics that say, I'm going to find a way back to you. So if you guys are not in contact at the moment, there is going to be this moving back towards you, okay? So what they want you to know, well, they, they probably wouldn't want you to know that they're feeling vulnerable and they're trying to preserve themselves and, you know, not be what they would classify as weak, what we would classify as not weak, but aware of their feelings. Um, they are trying to hide those away. So where you guys are at this moment in time, you've got really kind of positive outlooks happening all around you with you and your person. Your person at the moment, like I said, they made this choice, they made this decision and they thought, no, you know what, I'm just going to take a step back or I'm just not going to give you guys watching what it is that you want at the moment because I'm looking after myself. But there are these very deep emotions that run underneath it all. Now, it's going to take a little bit of time for this situation to resolve itself, a kind of temperance popping up over here. But there has been advancement and there has been movement and there will soon be if that hasn't happened yet. So if it's been, been feeling a little bit stagnant, that stagnancy should have or will be coming to a close in the very kind of near future, most likely in a couple of weeks if you haven't, um, nothing's happened yet. Most of you, there should have been some form of shift with the energy between you guys, but if it hasn't happened yet, it will be happening in the next few weeks. And this relationship will rise up. Just got a song, Rise Up. Was that Gabriella? Can't remember. Um, so this relationship will rise up again and there is this re, uh, re unifying spirit is saying reunifying of the connection between you guys the love that holds the two of you together is so strong that this relationship isn't really going to go that far um in like a kind of negative light it will keep coming back to the start i keep i got that song when we go back to the start when you're back in my arms you're getting a playlist today um this is the kind of love they say is wrong this is the love we've been waiting for so long we go back to the start where you're back in my arms. I can't remember who sang that, um, but that song coming forward over here. So your person has got hope, aspirations, ideals that you two are going to find a way to work it out. Again, because the chemistry and connection is so strong between you guys, they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle the energy, but that's not to say that they don't have these feelings for you. So we have the Ten of Cups over here. We have, if you want to know the cards, you've got the Sun, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, really good cards. So with this uh, Ten of Cups over here, this is signifying the transition that you guys have been going through. That you're going to be coming to the end of this kind of more heavier, darker energy, rebirthing lots of rebirthing pay attention to 10 tens 10 tens will always signify an end of a situation and a beginning of a new one so do be aware of that look out for these 10 tens kind of following you around everywhere when you start to see that you will know that you're coming out of this transition period into the next chapter there's also open communication that is going to be coming from here and communication from a place of love. Now, that being said, I do also feel that there's going to be a couple of house moves that are coming up with you guys. Not all of you are going to be moving house. Some of you guys are. Some of you guys will be moving in with your person, um, especially with everything that has been happening in this time that you've got been going through and what the universe has been going through at the moment, what the earth's been going through. There is this kind of need for this connection, this bond, this 
let's see where this goes let's build this up and this is why there is potentially a few movements house movements as well um, as physical movements from your person so a couple of house moves with you guys they're going to come towards you with some form of offer they're going to come towards you with the heart open the reason for the shift in energy is because when they've been in this kind of difficult time um and they've been like well oh, i don't know i don't know i don't know self-preserve self-preserve they're really missing you or missing the connection or missing the communication that's happening or just simply missing the way that it was depending on your various situations and that will create this massive shift with them as you step from the end of the chapter to the beginning of the new one you have this love offer coming in from them and potentially again like I said a few house moves you and your person and where it is going, you're going to start to be feeling a lot more stable over it. You have been in this kind of roller coaster of emotions. You might have felt like you've got whiplash with your head spinning round and round and round. You are now coming to you again, this place of feeling more stable. You're feeling more secure even in yourself and your self-confidence has been increasing. You've been working very hard on yourself and through that work, there is these rewards coming your way, Spirit is saying. So you're looking ahead. You're looking to the next chapter. You're thinking, well, if my person does doesn't provide me with that then I will just go my merry little way and they will catch up with me when they are ready and through that you have again this shift in the energy for you releasing and surrendering it it means that it can come back round to you in a more positive light or positive direction and then we have these three really really incredible cards over here so your ace of pentacles your three of cups and the sun your person can see that you guys can have a future together they can see that you guys can be in a relationship with one another they they can feel the intensity, they can feel the connection and they can feel the love that you guys share. And this is something that they want to invest in. This is a relationship that they are going to want to spend time with, to want to spend time investing in and seeing where it ends up between you guys. OK, summer looking like a really positive time for you. Uh, like I said, the shifts are happening now. If they haven't happened yet, they will be happening in the in the next few weeks. Um, new beginnings, you know much more stable beginnings before you two have really been riding this roller coaster of emotions up and down up and down and now you're going to be in a much more stable secure position so what do they want you to know that they're not telling you they want to tell well they would want you to know that their behavior how they've treated you hasn't really been the best but they've been doing it because they've been trying to self-protect they would want you to know that they still have very deep emotions for you, that they have a very strong love and that they haven't felt this way about anyone. And that's why they've been burying those emotions down deep. They would want you to know that um, into the future, they want to communicate with you. They want to talk to you about their emotions, that they're going through a transition period, that they're missing you. Um, whether that's energetically or physically, they're missing you, they're missing the connection and they want it to go to the next chapter. Through that, you've got this communication coming forward, this open communication transitioning period between you guys. So they'd want you to know that. And then stepping forward that they can see a beautiful future with you. They can see a new beginning with you. And also that they don't want to let you go. Spirit, just add into the end. They don't want to let you go. They don't want you to just vanish into the sunset because life without you is hard. You know, sometimes spirit is saying sometimes life with them is hard, but life without them is harder. So your person will keep coming back to you. They will keep coming back with this love that they share um, and you've got really good potential on this for it to be moving forward in the right direction their emotions are very real so do do listen um not to the bullshit that they're gonna that they might spill you because of the self-protect but when they do open up do listen to what they're saying because they are being open and honest with you if they're spinning you a load of bullshit being a bit difficult or you might feel that you're hitting against a brick wall discount it because that is a self-preservation if they open up to you about the emotions and they say oh i love you or i care for you or i have feelings do listen because they are speaking truth okay and they don't have spirit say they don't have to speak in tongues to speak the truth okay so do listen specifically to what they are saying when they start to open up to you don't disbelieve them because of their behavior before OK, um, not saying that I, we excuse their behaviour or anything like that and um, how they've handled the situation, etc. has put you guys in a very difficult situation. But when they do open up to you about their emotions, do listen to them because that is coming from a place of raw, of raw love, of, of real love and raw love. And it takes them a lot for them to do that. So do listen to what they say when they talk about it. 
Okay, that is deck number one, my beauties. If you need me, drop me a message. England is on lockdown, so I am working like crazy. Read, 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 read. Um, so if you need me, uh, now's a good time for you guys to book. Uh, I will speak to you all soon. Have a really good week. Uh, I think we still got a little while before Imolk, um, 1st of February. So that should be quite an interesting day. Remember, 1st of February, Imolk is the time of planting new seeds for our new life. So if you haven't got any um, plans that day and you're like, oh, I should be doing something, uh, you know, there's there's a few ideas you could do. Um, maybe get some milk and some honey and some nutmeg, drinking all of that. There's loads of sorts of things you could do just to create those new seeds of your life, planting those seeds for your life in what direction you wanna go down. If you want more uh, information on that, I will put it on the next public reading so just give me a shout and I can give you loads of little tips and tricks for Imolk and how you can bring those new seeds into your life okay guys tons of love I will speak to you soon ciao hey beauties deck number two let's do this okay so as I said at the very start of the video it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all so what we're going to do today is what do they want you to know that they aren't currently telling you or that they haven't told you in the past? Think about your person, we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. Okay, so I've got a song coming up. This song is Say You Won't Let Go and I think that was by James Arthur. Arthur and then the other song that I'm getting we're, we're going through like a playlist today there's so many songs coming through um, my right ear today uh, the other song that we got is come what may I will love you until my dying day cannot sing should uh hence why uh I don't but it doesn't mean that I won't try you know okay so what does that person want them to know that they aren't currently telling them or that they ooh, haven't told them in the past. Let's see where we're going with this. What do they want them to know? Okay, Spirit is saying really clearly in my right ear, blindsided. Your person is blindsided. Blind to love, blind to emotions, blind to feelings. Run, 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 run. Five. Gonna get nine again. Six, seven, eight. Okay, let's see what we've got here. No. Right, 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 right. So your person hasn't massively allowed space for you to enter into their heart at the moment. They've got a lot of blocks in the way. They're scared of betrayal. They're scared of being let down. In fact, they've got fear of pretty much anything. If they saw a shadow on the wall, they would think that this was out to get them. Your person has a lot of fear around the situation. They're scared of being hurt. Potentially, they've been scared, uh, hurt in the past and they don't want to get hurt again. So they've got this kind of block up, this wall up, and you will be feeling like you're banging your head against a brick wall because the situation might be feeling a little bit stagnant or not moving, or your person is just making your life quite hard at the moment. All you want is love. All they're giving you is probably this kind of non-committal energy, okay? So, your person and their emotions for you. Again, don't freak out by the lack of eyes. This deck is absolutely beautiful, but I still feel sometimes that we should put little sticky eyes on them. Okay, um, so your person has this non-committal energy. Now, I've just got a song for you. Uh, <laughs> I got a song for you from uh, The Wicker Man. Okay, don't freak out. Um, the song is Obsession. Okay, I don't know if you've heard that song. Uh, I know a couple of people that have had their hands fasted and they've had that playing in the background. Um, this song is Obsession. So if you go and have a listen to it and don't freak out about the Wicker Man film, you know, it doesn't really put pagans in a good light, does it? But don't freak out about the actual film. It's more of a musical, I like to think. Um, that Obsession song really coming up in this, okay? Um, so they have got this 
energy towards you, this non-committal energy, but there is this kind of borderline obsession going on with them. So they're thinking about you a lot, they're dreaming about you a lot, um, but they're just not giving you what you want, which is where this frustration comes forward. So the first thing that they would want you to know is no matter what the behaviour is saying and what they are doing, they're almost, they're, they're a bit obsessed with you. They are thinking about you a lot, they're dreaming about you a lot, and they can't step away from your energy and your connection. Um, we've got this conflicting energy lingering around them. You know, they are, potentially you guys have had a few arguments or things have been a little bit difficult with you both. Um, your person's feeling quite heavy and sad over this. You know, they are feeling the sadness that comes from their own actions. They're feeling like they're a glutton for their own punishment, that they're a little bit on self-sabotage. Um, you know, there is this kind of heaviness that comes from the situation and they're realising that perhaps they haven't been the best person that they could be for you and that you deserve better. And that is kind of what's bringing in this obsession energy going on around them as well, because they are feeling upset, they are feeling hurt, they are feeling that they've let themselves down, they are feeling lonely. They are feeling a little bit desperate with regard to the situation, but they get themselves stuck and they don't know how to transgress from that. They don't know how to move the situation forward because even though it's what they want, they want to move this forward with you. There is this block in the way which is stopping them. Let's find out what this block is. Let me just pull some more. What is the block that is stopping the person? Well, we know we have these fears, you know, more than fears. They're, they're very deep rooted. Yeah, they've got this worry that, you know, like I said, that they've handled it wrong, that it hasn't gone the right way for you guys, that perhaps if you got to know the real them, you wouldn't like them as much. Um, what we mean by that is your person can sometimes wear a mask and only you perceive them in the separate way over here. Um, and it's not really who they are. You know, you guys know that they're kind hearted, they're loving, they're warm, they're caring, they're considerate. You know all of that, but that often is not what they bring forward. They bring forward this kind of sexual, I don't care, I'm a player, I'm a this, I'm a that, this is on my terms. Whatever individual circumstances are happening, that's the energy they bring forward. Um, but the blocks are because they don't really know how to let you into their heart because they're scared. They're scared that you wouldn't like the real them. They're worried about that. Um, they're scared that, you know, perhaps they've got a few skeletons in the closet, stuff that's happened in the past and that you wouldn't like them if it came out and you found out about it. But with that, remember that everyone has a past, okay? So regardless, it's very much where you are in the present moment, not what your person thinks about stuff that's happened in the past. Um, could be to do with family, could be to do with friends, could be to do with old lovers. It's not to do with you guys with these skeletons in the closet. It's stuff that's happened prior to you, before you, okay? Um, these kind of energy coming up over here, they're scared of allowing you into the heart for it to just kind of get frazzled out and destroyed or not work. And again, with this kind of obsession energy coming forward from them, um, with that obsession energy and with this kind of oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. It is a very devil card energy, you know. It's this addiction energy. It is this um, wanting, when you're with them, you reach the highest of highs and you're absolutely amazing. It's perfect, it's phenomenal. But then when it goes to shit, you reach down here and you're stuck at this low, trying to reach up for that high again. And your person is feeling that energy as well. So we have a little bit of an addiction energy going on here. I don't like the word toxic, but it is an addiction form of connection between you guys a lot of this will be a more spiritual connection you know people think twin flames are all beautiful lovely shiny little rabbits and you know jumping in a field but they are much more complicated there is a lot of circumstances that make the situations complicated age gaps cultures um sexual orientation there is so much stuff when it comes to twin flame relationships that this is to do with that and that is where that addiction energy can come forward you're both feeling it you're both feeling that pull that connection that bond that journeying together okay so that is first of all what they would want you to know where we're going from this you've got 
a much more kind of positive direction that it's heading in. You guys have been doing magic, manifesting, moving things forward, aligning. You two are aligning with your energies. It's not yet. It's going to take some time. Your person has to step out of this non-committal energy and start aligning with purpose, Spirit is saying. At the moment, they're kind of meandering through a forest. They're going here, they're going there. They're not sure what they're doing. They're trying to just go with the flow of it. Spirit is saying, much like the stream, you know, the stream is always constantly ebbing and flowing. And that is where your person's energy is towards the connection, the going with the flow of it. But what's happening in that time is this energy of alignment, okay? So whether you're doing magic, whether you're manifesting, whether you're subconsciously doing it all, um, remember all manifestation comes through subconscious mind anyway, as does magic. So it's all the same energy coming forward here. There is an alignment going to be happening, an alignment going on with you guys. Um, I've mentioned in the first reading at the very end about Imolk, how this is the time on the 1st of February this year, this is the time that we're going to be planting the new seeds for direction in our life. Um, so if you want some information, some rituals or, or tools that you can use for Imolk on the 1st of February, let me know. We can show you pagan way. Ooh. Okay, so between you guys, you've got a shifting, a connection, a bonding, a brewing of your connection energy coming back together. So the other thing that your person would want you to know is that there's actually quite a strong urgency to make it up with you to rekindle the connection between you both they've been very i just saw a clairvoyant of clouds they've been very clouded they've been very confused they've been very stuck they haven't known what pathway they should be going down um, and it's kind of a little bit like when you know again coming back to imolk and the the sun starting to get a bit more there's going to be a bit more light in the days your person is going to start seeing this light around the connection with you guys and through that you have this reconciliation they're looking back to memories and things that have happened with you guys in the past and they are progressing themselves forward from that with you there's going to be a need for urgency they're going to want to suddenly connect with you reach out to you and sort things out and this is where your energies are aligning with your person Okay, so great alignment going on here. From there, you have the Three of Cups, Nine of Cups and Ace of Wands. So even though it's dark and bleak at the moment, there is this kind of more positive outlook to where it's going. Um, you know, yeah. Spirit just mentioned uh, midwinter's day. So probably around the 21st of December when it was like the darkest nights, you guys were really struggling. Um, but there again, there is that shift in energy. There is that shift in the connection between you guys as we're hitting February. Big kind of changes going on, new growth. Okay, opportunities for growth. And this is where your person's urgency is going to come towards you. You know, really quite a fast movement happening here. Fast movement for reconciliation. There is still this sexual energy between you guys. It is going to be a bit of like playing a game of, uh, we call it noughts and crosses in England, but I think in America you call it tic-tac-toe. Um, you know, where one of you is making a move, then the next and the next and the next. Um, you might still feel like you're kind of trying to work on something that potentially hasn't got a positive outcome. It could just be classed as a draw. Um, but you have got this working together to start achieving goals and there is communication here there is partnership there is also stress that comes from it as well though okay so a little bit of a stressful time for you um nine of cups and the three of cups so much more positive outcomes happening here your person um giving you more commitment giving you what you want if you can see on the nine of cups there is a church at the bottom uh signifying for some of you guys potentially marriage weddings things moving forward um there's also a lighthouse so where things were dark again you're starting to see the light over the connection and your person is too and that ultimately will lead to this positive collection uh, positive connection connection my voice went there and spirit came really quickly into my energy they do that sometimes i'll start to croak it's the start of trance um <clears throat> so really moving things forward in a more positive direction for you guys so what would your person tell you if what would they want you to know that they aren't telling you basically at the moment they're a little bit obsessed that they haven't handled things right and that they're scared out of their minds scared out of their wits that they're worried that you wouldn't love them for who they really were as a person that they've had a lot of difficult times that they're feeling sad that they're feeling heavy that they don't know what to do over it all that they're kind of sitting there howling at the moon and not getting any answers for what they should be doing that they're going with the flow of it 
through that going off the flow of it, there is going to be this strong energetic change as whatever you are taking out to the universe, whatever you guys are putting out to the universe is going to start coming back to you. Sense of urgency, your person coming forward, offering you reconciliation. So stepping into that future energy. Through that reconciliation down to you guys on what you want from this, whether you want it to go the full hog and you can bring this energy here, you are still going to be a little bit pulling teeth, still a little bit fed up of the situation, but the potential here for this to progress is bigger. So what your person would want you to know overall, um, that you know they can see potentially that this can work out between you guys, but they're just being a little bit idiotic at the moment. And that is deck number two. Okay, so if you need me, give me a shout. I will put all the details in the description. I love you all to pieces. I will speak to you soon. Stay safe with everything that's happening at the moment. England's been hit really, really hard. Um, so do keep looking after yourselves and looking after your families. All right, guys, tons of love to you all. I will speak to you soon. Goddess blessings.